And now I have a question to ask. Has the Wagner Group become the world's richest and most dangerous industrial mercenary outfit? This question pops up courtesy a video. A video of the Wagner chief. This one. It shows the Wagner chief, Yevgeny Priyogazhin, dressed in combat gear from head to toe, singing praises of his motherland Russia. This video has apparently been shot in Africa, a place Yevgeny Priyogazhin says he is making freer and a place where he says he's making Russia even greater. You have to watch this. Работаем. We are working. The temperature is above 50 degrees Celsius, just how we like it. The Wagner Group is conducting RSA, making Russia even greater on every continent and Africa even freer. Justice and happiness for African people. We intimidate ISIS, Al-Qaeda and other bandits, hiring the real heroes and continuing to accomplish the tasks that have been set and that we promised we can handle. So where was this video shot? No one really knows. Perogazhin has not quite revealed the exact location. He could be anywhere. Sudan, Mali, even Niger. We'll get to that in just a bit. But first, let me ask the obvious question. How is Yevgeny Perogazhin still thriving? I mean, we are talking about a man who not only revolted against the Russian state, but also threatened to take over Moscow. He was supposed to be punished for his actions, but instead he was sent into exile. His group's operations are not scrapped and all of a sudden he is re-emerging in Africa. I mean, how does any of this add up? Has Prorogozhin become too powerful even for Vladimir Putin? Is Putin afraid of punishing the Wagner chief? And if yes, then why? Is it because of how deeply involved Wagner is in Africa? Just have a look at the group's scale of operations. It provides services and paramilitary assistance in a host of African countries. But it is the most active in Libya, Mali, Central African Republic, Sudan and Niger. And interestingly, all these countries have a tenuous relationship with the West. And this is mainly due to colonial legacies and inherent political differences. And what does Wagner do in these countries really? Well, its services vary based on the needs of the clients. In the Central African Republic, for that matter, Wagner troops defend the government from possible rebellions. The last instance being in 2018 when 1,000 Wagner troops defended an attack on the capital and in return, they received unrestricted logging rights and control of a lucrative gold mine. In Sudan, the group has operated since 2017. It trains Sudanese troops in combat, guards the country's mineral resources and suppresses dissent against the country's ruling dispensation. And in return, it has been able to secure smooth gold exports for Russia. For the unworst, Sudan is the 10th largest gold producer in the world. In Mali, the group reportedly supplements the Russian military. It also helps the logistical movement of the Russian entities and provides combat training to the Malian troops. And in Niger, the group has become a lifeline of sorts for the military junta. It is offering guidance on defensive strategies to the generals in case there is a military conflict. Now, for the unworst, Niger is the world's seventh largest producer of uranium. The West says the Wagner Group could be exploiting Niger's uranium resources. Simply put, the Wagner Group is crucial for Russia's hybrid warfare strategy on the African continent. It helps provide deniability for the Kremlin's actions. It serves as a proxy tool for military confrontations with the Western countries. And in other words, it acts as the Kremlin's quasi-state agent of influence. It skillfully uses its mercenaries to create strategic advantages for Moscow. It has become so entrenched in Africa that the Kremlin does not have a readily available replacement. 
So is this why the Wagner chief has been let loose? Is this why Putin has still not punished him despite that coup? Well, it certainly seems to be the case. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.